So just so you guys know, vital signs, he's 41, the male, he has access on his left side, and he was probably an increase in dodge, so I gave him four his old friend. Any questions? Are right, you guys ready to transfer? Okay, all the straps are clear, so when you're ready, you should be able to pull. One, two, three. Unzip jump completely. 
Avoid contact with scrubs with outer surface of jumpsuit wearing or holding hands with touching only the inside of the jumpsuit as you roll it down. Begin removing the suit by grabbing the small of the back. Next thing you're going to do is remove the jumpsuit. Carefully peel the suit off your shoulders and the weight chair your body. Be down careful not to let the suit touch the chair. Unzip the suit completely. Everybody can help you as you your arms out of the sleeves of the suit. Begin the interview the suit by grabbing the small of your back. Now carefully peel the suit off your shoulders and away from your body down to your waist. Continue rolling down your suit past your knees, never touching your scrubs. And if you need help, your docking buddy will help you. Sit down, keeping your gloves away from you. Now you can peel your arms out of the sleeves of the suit. Leave your gloves on and begin rolling carefully when you get the second down part of it. Uh, one foot at down a time from the suit. Start with the right. foot farthest and away from the clean area. Rolls. Continue rolling down past your knees. Disinfect inner gloves with either disinfected white or EPHR. Now you're able to sit down and while then you use disinfected white to wipe down every external surface of the washable shoe. Start with foot closest so to the clean area. Be careful, careful not to touch the outside of the suit or shoes. Stand when finished. <laughs> Perform a final inspection of healthcare workers for any indication of contamination of surgical scrubs or Now you're going to remove any contaminations that are invited to be before the site to your hands. I think given the patients coming from a malaria endemic region, that we should go ahead and start malaria treatment while we're waiting that test. It should come back quickly, and so as soon as that returns, we'll know whether or not we can come. Hi, this is uh, Dr. Shaw. I wanted to talk to the patient about the purpose of the trial. Okay. Hi, Hi, Mr. Patient. Hi. Um, so, so I'm going to talk to you about a drug that we have available to you called Zemar. It's an experimental therapy that has been shown in some um, research studies to be a benefit to patients with Ebola like yourself. Okay. There are some risks to, to taking um, this medication. We have procedures in place to try to mitigate that risk and we'll give you medication. Um, if you have an allergic reaction or other reactions to the medication. There's a consent form in front of you that you can review. Signs in both places. Anything else? That's it. Okay. Thank All you right. very much. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Everyone needs to stop working. Great. Yes. Was it just a, was it a splash on an apron or actually breach of the the suit? The breach of the suit. It looked like the suit ripped. Yeah, we have a breach of the suit. The suit ripped. Sorry. I'm going to press right. All right, so the air has been wiped down. <coughs> there it is. Okay, and then you should be able to remove your apron and your booties and exit the room into the docking room.